In this video, I'm going to show you one of my favorite lockdown coverage defenses. This is a great little base defense that you can use against really any formation in Madden 23, and it comes to us out of the 46 defensive playbook. The play we're going to be going over today is the nickel 3-3 cub, and we're going to put the cover 4 show 2 in our audibles. Now, this is actually, generally speaking, a match defense, but we're going to show you how to turn it into a zone defense in this video. And like I said, we're going to be showing it to you against just kind of some general uh, coverages for really any formation. U-trips, bunch, it's really good against anything. And what we're going to do from a coaching adjustments perspective is we're just going to put our, our flats here we're just going to put them on five yards. Five yard flats, um, I think, is the key to this defense. If you want to get my entire 3 3 Cub defensive ebook, make sure to join my Patreon. That's where you'll get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks. The link is down in the description. And again, it's only $10 to become a member. All right, guys, so we're going to come out in cover four drop, and we're going to audible into cover four show two. And the setup for this is actually really simple. All we're going to do is we're going to audible down into cover four show two. What I like to do is we are going to shade our coverage underneath, and we're going to put our linebacker that is blitzing in a vert hook. That's literally pretty much all we're going to do for this play. And what you're going to notice here is our job is essentially to rob the uh, post uh, defender. So we're going to stand in this little pocket right here. Actually, I forgot one key adjustment that I'll tell you about in just a second. So as you can see, though, they're by and large pretty decent little coverage. Now, the one adjustment that I forgot to mention is that to the wide side of the field, we are going to play cover three. Okay, so we're going to do everything exactly the same, except to the wide side of the field, we are going to put the safety on an inside third, and we are going to put the corner on an outside third, as you can see right here. And I love to have that vertical hook to the wide side of the field if possible. So as you can see, this is what the coverage defense looks like. And as you'll see here, I'm going to be able to defend a lot of stuff. If they try to throw that tight end curl, we're going to be taking that away. And then my user is over here as well. Now, one of the things that I did want to talk about is short side flood concepts. So let's say that your opponent um, is going to run maybe something like this play curl flat out of U-trips. A really good play for attacking uh, zone coverage. What they're going to do is they're going to essentially try to flood you to the short side of the field, which also happens to be this year's game. is very effective. Short side floods are really, really, really good. So this is why we want to run that cover three to the wide side. We're going to run this cover four to the left side. And they're going to motion this guy across. And as soon as we see this motion, we're going to say, okay, we're going to be in here. And then notice that that vert hook is going to defend that in route. So this kind of informs where do we need to use her is kind of the key question. So again, I'm going to show you uh, the same play, except this time uh, Hopkins is actually going to go out on a route. And you see here, these are our adjustments. And then if you want to crash your line out, you will get better sheds that way. So you're going to motion this guy across. What I like to do is instantly baseline press. And then I see there that corner route. I'm just going to have to go use that with myself. That's kind of the idea. And then I have the vertical hook kind of defending over on the left side. So that's a very simple way to slow down and really defend U-trips. In a lot of ways, this is going to do a good job against the majority of what people are going to want to try to do um, you know, in the U-trips offense. Now, the other routes uh, that are popular out of this play curl flat could be something like a uh, little slant post concept like this. And this example here, this is where these quarters are really helpful because what you're going to notice is I can take this slant and these quarters will match over the middle of the field fairly decently. And if you put knockout abilities, which I don't have knockouts on them on this video, but if you were to put knockout abilities across your field, you're going to notice that these are significantly more effective zones um, than, than before. So again, here you'll see if I'm in here, I'm going to leave that post. Notice these zones are going to be in a position to at least make a KO. Um, you know, And then the other thing that I want to show you is that this cross applies to pretty much every formation in Madden 23, it doesn't really matter what they are in. Um, this actually does a really good job of defending a lot of what people are going to be trying to do out of gun bunch, uh, which we'll show you right here. So if they're coming out in gun bunch, um, you know, you're going to see here, we're going to run the third to the uh, wide side. 
and then the cover four side is going to be to the short side. So if we do something like this, now I can't really use our corner out on the right, but what I can do is I know that the outside third on the right is going to do a good job of defending if they don't motion out. So if they don't motion out, then I'm able to stay kind of locked in right in here. And you can see that outside third was rolling over to the corner route, which we'll show it to you one more time here. Uh, but this is one of my favorite coverages in the game because it does such a good job. Um, you can pick it up and literally play it against anybody, any offense in the game. And the rule is simple. If they are to the, to the wide side of the field, we're going to put a outside third and we're going to put an inside third to the short side of the field we're going to play cover four that's in a nutshell what we are doing and then it's i think i think in this year's game you have to i just think curl flat zones are terrible this year so you need to be turning these into hard flats and then you need to take that linebacker and put him in a vertical hook and the reason we put our hard flats at five is because that's going to turn off any kind of matching principles that can potentially mess this up and it's gonna make it so it's a little bit more effective. Now, let's say that they motion out out of bunch. Now, this is Y trips or trips formation to the right. One of the things that you can do is you can take your linebacker and say, okay, well, we're just gonna man you up on who I think is gonna be on the corner route. So in this example, it's gonna be um, R1. So we're gonna man him up there, and then now I'm still free to be in here. Notice that the, in notice that the inside quarter defender is helping me over the middle of the field and that's what these cover four quarters will do um so this is one of my favorite defenses by far in the game i think this coverage is fairly decent um you can pick it up and literally play it against anybody which is one of the other things that makes this so good and when you turn zone drops to five and your match is on your back four they're just going to play really uh lurky on the field in my opinion so that is the defense that I wanted to talk about today. A little lockdown defense out of 3-3 Cub. If you enjoyed the video, you want to get more, uh, make sure you get the 3-3 Cub defensive ebook. The best way to get that is to join the Patreon because you get all of my ebooks by becoming a Patreon member. $10 will get you access to everything. So the link is down in the description. Thanks for watching and go check out the Patreon down in the description.